This is Mr. Baylash, and this is 10th period U.S. history, and you're watching Texan TV! Happy Hispanic Heritage Month to my fellow Hispanics. I'm your Texan TV director, Jasmine, and you're watching Texan TV. Retake photos will be on October 12th and 13th in the auditorium. Underclassmen 9 through 11 will be able to retake theirs on October 25th, along with any staff. Good morning, I'm Mr. Reese. And I'm Ms. Scott. And we're both school social workers here at Sam Houston. Which means we work for Arlington ISD and not CPS. My main responsibility here at Sam is to work with our Families in Transition, which is a program we have for students and families that find themselves in temporary or transitional living situations. Most of the time it's families that are temporarily spending time with other family members or friends in hotels or students that have left or been asked to leave their home. And I work with our students who are pregnant and parenting. Mr. Reese will work with our teen dads. We also work with students who need additional social, emotional, or mental health support. You can find me in room 508. And you can find me in room 617. See you around the building. Bye. Hello, my name is Officer Michael Cortez. I'm a police officer with the city of Arlington. I'm also assigned as a school resource officer here at Sam Houston High School. Uh, back in October 2021, uh, me and Officer Davis, we were talking about how the school needed a little bit more spirit groups or programs for kids for after school. Uh, and that's when we came up with the uh, auto group. Um, I'm happy to say that it's been growing. Uh, we got a lot of more members every year. We got more members, more sponsors, and more fans. Um, so I'm happy to say that the program keeps growing every school year. Uh, the program, it's uh, its not just about cards. It's a, just a club for kids to hang out uh, during, uh, you know, after school, um, during the summer. Uh, we got a lot of activities that we, we try to be part of. Uh, the group comes up with ideas that we can do throughout the whole year. Um, we got activities in the summer uh, where we can be part of a parade. Um, and um, if you want to be part of this auto club, just get with one of the members and they'll tell you about the process. PSAT and SAT are just around the corner. If you're looking to improve your scores, join the SAT practice group. Currently, we meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 1105 from 315 to 445, starting September 26th through October 6th. We'll meet Mondays through Thursdays from 315 to 445 in room 1105. See you there. On Wednesday, October 12th, all 10th, 11th, and 9th grade AVID students will be able to take the PSAT during the school day. The, taking the PSAT can guide you to prep for the SAT and get colleges to recruit you based on your scores. You might even qualify for a National Merit Scholarship. Be sure to eat a good breakfast and get plenty of sleep. All seniors will be taking the ACT on Tuesday, October 4th. The ACT could help you save thousands in your tuition for college and is an important part of the admission, admission process. Texans, please don't park in the teacher parking lots. You run the risk of possibly getting towed. Drive safely. Class of 2023, if you bought a senior parking spot, you will be able to paint them Saturday, September 24th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Don't forget your paint and paintbrushes. I'm Jennifer Lopez and you're watching Q&A. What's your biggest fear? Uh, heights, 100%. Uh, especially rock climbing. I did rock climbing for a bit and I actually fell off. That sounds very dangerous. Uh, it was, it was not fun. Probably like being buried alive or something like that. Yeah, it's like creepy. Or it's not creepy, it's like terrifying to me. What's your dream car? I'm about to go with the Camaro. I would like a Camaro, but uh, a Camaro, but I'm gonna have it theme wrapped to where I can just run car shows. Is there a reason behind the Camaro or just because you think it would be cool in car shows? Uh, my entire family generation had Camaros, so continue the legacy, I guess. I don't, I don't have one, honestly. Like, I never thought about it. I never, I don't really have one. So, yeah. No car that piques your interest? Not really, just the car that'll work, get me to point A to point B and back and forth, you know? 
Would you rather never eat or drink again? Drink. Why? Uh, because I'd love to eat. I can go without drinking, but eating I cannot. But don't we need water to, to like survive and stuff? Technically, if you're eating something, you'll get the moisture from it, and most things have water in them, so you'll still be getting water at the end of the day. Probably never eat. Because, like, you don't need to eat to, like, survive, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can just live off water, but that's, like, my opinion, or that's what I think. I'm Jennifer Lopez, and you've been watching... Texting TV. we <laughs> So I am Mrs. Giles. Uh, I am the new teacher here at Sam. I grew up in a small town called Crescent, uh, just outside of Fort Worth. And then I decided to go to Tarleton State University. That is where I graduated. I chose to teach agriculture, uh, one, because I am very involved in the agriculture world. I love teaching ag. I love being around animals, especially goats and cattle. Uh, my uncle was an ag teacher, and so he kind of influenced me to uh, go into the uh, teaching agriculture. Uh, so far, uh, this is my first year. Um, I didn't realize um, how hard it was gonna be to get my students uh, to know about ag until I came here and found out a lot of uh, things that my students did not know about. Um, my challenges, my biggest challenges is trying to get my students involved in my classes. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out the balance of uh, where to go and how to get them interacted and do fun things in my class. Um, agriculture is very, very important. I cannot stress that enough, um, especially I've been trying to teach that to my students, uh, that agriculture is in our everyday life. Uh, whether that is eating, uh, the clothing that we wear, uh, getting to work and home with gasoline, everything around us is surrounded with ag. Uh, without agriculture, um, we'd probably be stranded and be naked and not have what we have now. Um, my number one goal as an ag teacher is to teach um, the balance and the importance of agriculture and my biggest goal is to get my students involved uh, in some way in agriculture. So what I want my students to know um, is, is that if you are engaged in my class, um, it can be fun. The more effort you put in my class, the more fun it will be and not so boring and uh, writing notes down all day long. Go Texans! Well, that's all we have for you today, Texan. I'm with Texan TV director Jasmine, and you've been watching Texan TV. Woo! <laughs> Just say three, two, one, lights, camera, action. <laughs> all right. This is Mr. Baylash. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Texans. My name is Matthew Finau, and you're watching Texan TV. You forgot the date! You're still here. The episode's over. But you could play another video or subscribe. 
to the Texan TV channel. Go Texans!